In this presentation, we will discuss about Klein's construction. Klein's construction is a graphical method to determine velocity and acceleration of a slider crank mechanism. So for determining the velocity and acceleration of a slider crank mechanism, there are various methods, analytical methods and graphical methods. In graphical methods, we have vector methods, instantaneous center methods. So in Klein's construction, from the configuration diagram itself, we can obtain the velocity vector diagrams and acceleration vector diagrams. From that, you can calculate velocity and acceleration of piston or connecting rod. If you look into the slider crank mechanism of a horizontal engine, let us assume the crank is rotating at constant RPM. Then your piston will be having the linear motion from inner dead center to the outer dead center and your connecting rod will oscillate it will have it will be having the planar motion it will be having both linear and angular motion and your velocity and acceleration of the piston depends on the crank angle so let's say the crank angle is varying from 0 to 90 0 to 90 then the piston will be accelerating for that portion and 90 to 180 degrees it will be decelerating and after 180 degrees the piston will move in the reverse direction and again it will accelerate up to 270 degrees and again it comes to rest and it will the motion will be reversed from the 360 degrees so the cycle will be continued like that so if you see the piston acceleration and velocity it is not a constant for the constant rpm of your crank so the analysis it depends on the crank angle for the different angles you will be having the different velocity accelerations of the piston as well as connecting rod so these can be determined analytically or graphically if you use the Klein's construction for that particular crank angle you need to draw a configuration diagram so now we will look into the client's construction by taking one example. Problem 1. Determine the velocity and acceleration of the piston and acceleration of the center of gravity at the connecting rod by client's construction. For that the given configuration is connecting rod length L equal to 450 mm, crank length R equal to 90 mm, crank angle from inner dead center theta equal to 30 degrees, crank rotation that is in clockwise sense center of gravity of a connecting rod is 180 mm from the crank pin and speed of the crankshaft that is n equal to 600 rpm and if you want to calculate angular velocity that is omega equal to 2 pi n by 60 that equal to 62.83 radian per second now let's start the Klein's construction before that we need to check that whether the given dimensions will be uh, suitable for our drawing or not if that is not suitable you need to scale up or scale down accordingly in my case i am scaling down scaling to 1 is to 3 ratio so my crank length becomes 30 mm and connecting rod length becomes 150 mm with these dimensions i have to draw a configuration diagram first so first of all start with a point which represents the crankshaft o okay then draw the line of stroke from the O. So now draw a crank radius, crank length equal to the 30 mm that is to the scale from O and with an angle theta equal to 30 degrees from the inner dead center and mark the point A. Now the point B is located by taking the radius equal to 150 mm that is to the scale of the connecting rod. From A as a center mark an arc on the line of stroke, mark an arc on the line of stroke and mark the point B and join AB. So this completes our configuration diagram. Now draw a perpendicular line from O to the line of stroke like this and extend a B line and mark the intersecting point here so the point is E 
now mark the center point of AB that is C here C you need to mark midpoint of AB now draw a circle with radius equal to AE and center as A so now take the radius equal to AC and center as C draw an arc which cuts this circle at two points here and here and mark those two points let's say that is P and Q so now join PQ so this PQ line will intersect connecting rod at one point and line of stroke at one point mark those two points mark those two points here and here so let's say that is R and B1 it completes your claims construction so in this triangle OEA represents a velocity diagram and OARB1 so this quadrilateral represents the acceleration diagram okay so in this OE is velocity of your piston OA is velocity vector for your crank AE is for connecting rod and in the acceleration diagram OA is the acceleration of crank and OB is the acceleration of the piston AR is the normal acceleration of your connecting rod and tangential acceleration of the connecting rod is RB1 so if you want the acceleration of the connecting rod you need to join a B1 here if you see the velocity diagram OAE actually if you draw in a vector diagram it is not exactly same like this in the sense it is a rotated vector diagram so you can see this so vector diagram actually it will be like this if you draw a vector diagram means the velocity vector at A will be perpendicular to the link OA so that is this one and piston that will be the linear direction so it is the same direction as the piston so this one OE and connecting rod it will be perpendicular to the connecting rod so what you will get in the Klein's construction is the velocity diagram which is rotated to 90 degrees and we are not defining the scale for the velocity diagram from this diagram only you need to take the scale so if you want to calculate the velocity of the piston simply you need to take the length of the OE and you need to multiply to the scale and that value if you multiply to the omega you will directly get the velocity of the piston so in this case the velocity of the piston is 3.32 meters per second similarly if you want to calculate the relative velocity of a connecting rod and points A and B so that is represented by the AE vector so you have to take the length AE and you need to multiply omega and scale to it so that you will get the relative velocity of the points A to B or B to A so now if you see the acceleration diagram and in the acceleration diagram we need to calculate acceleration of center of gravity of the connecting rod right so in this acceleration diagram OA RB1 we have the acceleration of the connecting rod AB as AB1 but we need to check for the location of the G so G is given that the center of gravity connecting rod is 180 mm from the crank pin so you need to locate that at 180 mm from the crank pin from a 180 mm means into this scale it is 60 mm by 3 you have to do so now from g you need to draw a horizontal line or you can say that is line parallel to the line of stroke so it will intersect your acceleration diagram a b1 acceleration of your connecting rod vector a b1 at one point mark that point as g 
now join g2 wo so now this g wo is the acceleration of your point g that is center of gravity or center of mass so if you look the actual acceleration diagram it is like this so what you will get in the Klein's construction is actually it is rotated well acceleration diagram that is rotated to the 180 degrees and if you see the original senses of the acceleration diagram from O everything will be moving outward right the acceleration diagram the vectors will be like this right. as it is rotated to the 180 degrees the sense we it should not change because 180 degrees means it will be parallel on the ob will be parallel to this ob1 oa dash will be parallel to the oa and og will be parallel to this og ar dash will be parallel to this ar so senses if you see so that is reversed in the diagram so that should not be reversed so in the diagram the vector lens we can take directly from the Klein's construction whereas the directions of the accelerations so that will be towards the center O. Right. So if you take the acceleration diagram which is rotated to 180 degrees in the Klein's construction. So now if you want to calculate the acceleration of the piston. Acceleration of the piston equal to simply take the acceleration vector that is OB1. OB1 represents the acceleration of the piston. So that OB1 into scale and that should be multiplied to the omega square so that you will get the acceleration of the piston so acceleration of piston is 343.91 meter per second square and if you want to calculate the acceleration of center of gravity of a connecting rod so you need to take the acceleration vector length of the acceleration vector of the OG so that OG multiplied by scale and also the omega square you will get the acceleration. So the acceleration of the G is 339.41 meter per second square. So this is how we need to calculate the accelerations and velocities by using the Klein's construction.